Are you looking for 30 acres to create that homestead and to be able to farm it? Well, stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Chad Kemp, your Alabama land agent. We have a unique piece of property. It's 30 acres for, that we're selling, up to 60 acres potentially. Has a lot of road frontage, has a lot of opportunity for family to come together and to create their own homestead. And we're gonna talk more about that in the video. And we're gonna give you some distances to Birmingham, to Trussell, to Springville, and a lot of different places. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of this video. This 30 acres that we have for sale is on Jones Chapel Loop Road, which is off Jones Chapel Road. It sits between County Road 24 and County Road 27. 27 runs from Springville, Alabama to Aniana, uh, and then County Road 24 runs along the brow of Straight Mountain between Springville and the Upper Asheville Appalachian School area. Now this property we do have a total of 60 acres, but we are just selling the 30 acres. So the, this 30 acres that we're showing right now does have a lot of opportunity. It once All this once was used as a pasture about 15 years ago. So these trees are about 15 years old. Now they're not, they're small enough that you can actually uh, go in there and, and, and reclaim this as a pasture, but also large enough that you can continue to kind of leave it there for privacy if you wanted to. We will have some restrictions on the property, and those restrictions are about one home per 10 acres, and we're limiting it to just a barn dominium style house or a butler building house or just your conventional site built home. Now, if you click below in the description, if you look down below somewhere in the description for this video, you will find a link that will take you to a Google map more pictures and some additional information on the property now there there's deer on the property this is a great sign look how large this tree is lots of signs that's just one rub there's several rubs on this property from a deer aspect <clears throat> this was a cattle farm he had a cattle on it about 15 years ago there's some old old fencing around the property now you'll have to redo all that to make it uh, worthy fencing, but it's got the potential. This part of that, there are some terrace rows on this property. So at one point, prior to the owner now, uh, it was probably used for agriculture at some point. Uh, the, now the terraces are not steep terrace hills that you can't cut with a with a tractor. Uh, we've seen those before where you, where you could only just go along the terrace. To cut this you can actually easily bush hog if you wanted to that's one of the areas that you can actually put a pond in this is water that's coming off of a pond from by on the upper end and there's another spot on the property that that you could do the same thing if you wanted to that's coming it's feeding out of the pond that's on the 30 acres that we're holding out so you got some potential here uh, for ponds because there's a lot of ponds in the area one thing I want to notice you to look if you can see how this land and you see where it's real hazy the hazy part on the top of this video is where the bluff drops down to Asheville and to Springville area so there's a bluff right over there so uh, we're up on the mountain you've got some views there are some home site views on this property but <clears throat> It's a lot of opportunity to, to do home sites. You could do, go back and put the cattle fencing back in and, and raise cattle, raise chickens, goats, whatever you'd want to do from that aspect, you could do that there. We're just not, uh, we're restricting it from a residential standpoint. But you're only two hours and 30 minutes from Atlanta, Georgia, two hours from Chattanooga. You know, you're an hour and a half from Huntsville, Alabama. You're two hours from Montgomery. You know, you're about uh, 34 minutes from Trussell. You're going to be 18 minutes from downtown Springville. And you're going to be about 47 minutes from Birmingham. So a lot of opportunity here. This is the 30 acres that we're holding there to the left. And we're talking about this property now. It's identical as far as probably road frontage, give or take. 
It's it's a beautiful piece of property. It's going to probably be the same depth. It lays about the same. the The main features and different features on the property on this one is it has a little bit more open land with it. Admit initially, you know, initially you've got more open land with it, and then you've got the barn, and then you got the pond on the property. Now, one thing about the barn, the barn's about 3,200 square feet. It's going to need some work on the barn. You're going to need some roof work on it. And you also, um, you've got this pond, which is stock. And we're going to, we'll talk about that in just a second. But I want to talk about the area. The area is, you know, it's a lot of agricultural. As you can see, you got a lot of pasture properties in the area. You know, a lot of people um, raising cattle. And, of course, some having horses, too. But a lot of tomato farming in the area. Matter of fact, on on Jones Chapel Road, which is the road you take to, to get to Jones Chapel Loop Road, they do a lot of um, agriculture over there. They do a lot of tomato farming in the area, especially there out on Cannon Road 24. Um, a lot of opportunity um, to do that. And this property probably at one time was, to do, was, was doing that um, at some point back in the day um definitely back since um but way before uh the owner that owns it now um because he's been using it as a cattle farm until about 15 years ago so it's got some fencing on the property the fencing would have to be redone um if you wanted to get back uh to doing that obviously you need to clean the property off first then go in and fence it but it's just a really pretty piece of property it's, it's a pretty area you know, at one time there was a restaurant called Benedict's. A lot of people used to eat there, which is just down below um, from here. And a lot of people used to eat there for a lot of years. And there's a lot of good places to eat in, in Aniana. You got uh, Charlie B's there in Aniana, uh, which is a kind of a meat and three restaurant if you're looking for something like that. But that's what's great about this area. You're, there's a lot of little unique things that you can go to. You're not too far from Chandler Mountain. Horse Pins 40 from here. You're not too far from Walmart. Um, there's a lot of little things that you can actually enjoy and still be out in the out in the country here. But you know, again, this is about a 3,200 square foot barn. You've got um, big stalls here. You probably, if you're going to use them for horses, you want to cut them down a little bit smaller. Maybe keep one for a birthing stall. But it's just a beautiful piece of property, and you, the views. That's the thing, the views that you have on this this particular one. And you would have it on the other 30 acres. You just have to get the trees out of the way. But you can really see the view potential on this particular property because it's more opened up in the middle. And the pond, you know, it's a little bit less than a half an acre. Uh, the seller has stocked it with uh, bass and brim. So you've got fish in the, in the pond. And it doesn't fluctuate much. He said it's a spring-fed pond. Back to the left, you can see how this kind of looks like a heart shape. And the point of the heart, right in that area, in that little valley, there's a spring that kind of feeds in there. And he said the water line, the water doesn't drop that much at all, maybe a foot or two or so. But And that's, you know, a drought and that sort of thing. But it's a beautiful piece of property. You, If you're looking for a place to homestead, this would be it. This would be a great spot, and again, there there are restrictions, and he's not putting a lot of restrictions on it. He just, you know, one home per 10 acres, so three families could live out here, and then, you know, you could build a site-built home, or you could go in there and do a barn dominium. That's okay. No problem there. That's a, that's a trend that most people are looking and going to, um, so there's not any issues there. To do that if you wanted to but just a great little spot to be outside of birmingham alabama to have the farm and have to get away but again i want to mention this piece here is is will not sell first this has to sell last or buy the entire property which is about which would be about 60 acres so you know give us a call if you like to take a visit we'd like to show the property to you I think you get out here, you'll be very, very impressed, and and we'll definitely would want to have an interest in this for you and your family. So just give me a call. It's a number at the end of the video. Hope you have a great day.